Do you know what TDP means? And if you think it is the measurement of how much power your CPU consumes, then my friend, you are wrong. Thermal design power or TDP is a very crucial term that is used in computer hardwares and it is majorly associated with CPUs and GPUs. It is typically measured in watts and it can range between as low as 15 to as high as 350 watts. And that is the reason why it is a popular belief that TDP indicates how much power your hardware consumes. Although it is a good marker when it comes to choosing a PSU and that is the reason why people generally recommend if your total system comes around let's say 350 50 to 400 watts so you should get a PSU which is rated at 500 or 650 watts and if you are doing that when buying computer hardware then you are doing nothing wrong but believing that what is written on your CPUs and GPUs box is the amount of power your CPU or GPU will consume that is wrong because your CPU and GPU will consume more than what is the TDP specification written on the box and that is the reason of having 150 to 200 watts overhead but if TDP doesn't tell me how much power my computer is pulling out of my outlet then what does it mean it means how much heat your CPU or GPU is meant to handle let me explain let's say you bought a CPU with 65 watts TDP and its operating temperature is at 80 degrees Celsius that means that while performing a heavy workload when your GPU hits 80 degrees Celsius it will start to underclock itself or throttle itself automatically are you with me if you are let me know by hitting the like now in this situation when your cpu is under load and hits its sustained temperature of 80 degrees celsius then your cpu is designed to dissipate 65 watts of thermal energy although using the thermal energy word is not the most suitable term but for simplicity's sake let's just say thermal energy gdp is a suitable indicator for buying or choosing a cooling solution if your CPU is designed or rated at 65 watts TDP, then you should buy an adequate cooler which is capable to handle that much heat so it can transfer that heat from your CPU to the system environment. But 65 watts of TDP doesn't mean that's the maximum amount of heat your hardware will generate because it will more. Especially if you overclocked it or you are running an extreme workload or a very heavy workload. So you should buy an adequate cooling system for your hardware. But that doesn't mean if your cooler is not keeping up with your CPU or GPU, it will fry itself. Before that happens, 99% of the time, your hardware will automatically throttle itself to keep itself in check. But if it happens very often, then your hardware will degrade sooner. And hardware degradation is a very normal thing because your hardware, processors and GPU is mostly made with silicon and you cannot outrun physics but the point of having a good cooling solution so it happens later rather than sooner but one thing you have to always remember everybody lies especially big corporations so before you completely believe what is written on a spec page you should get proper information from unbiased and independent sources now it could be a youtube video or an article from a well-researched media house or user reviews before you spend your hard-earned money onto something and why i am saying that although tdp is a good baseline measurement for various different things but it is calculated and showcased differently from company to company. It means if you bought a 65 watt cooler for your 65 watt CPU, that might not be enough because the company might have calculated that 65 watts using the base frequency while running a specific workload and you run a heavier workload which requires your CPU to boost up to a much more higher frequency than what the company has measured it. So your CPU will generate much more thermal energy than just 65 watts. So does that mean those companies are lying to you? Yes and no. Or are you running your hardware out of company recommended specification? Also, no, you are not. It's just sly marketing tactics used by these companies. So they look or their product look much better than their competition, which is 
not cheating technically it is just that these companies are not telling you the whole truth or showing you the complete picture now if you understood everything i said in this video let me know in the comment section and also don't forget to hit the like if you like the video if you haven't well feel free to dislike and if you want to know how tdp is calculated well we can check this video from gamer nexus and if you want to subscribe well do it by here and if you want to watch more videos from us check this video right here and this is akash and i'll see you guys in the next one peace